You know, we filmed a lot of copperheads on this channel, mostly because they're a relatively common snake, they're cool, and they're venomous, which apparently the YouTube algorithm really appreciates. But I've always noticed whenever I film a copperhead, there's always a lot of controversy in the comments section. So today, we're going to find a copperhead and hopefully explain some common misconceptions about these snakes. Also, while you're here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We make videos every single week. And while you're at it, make sure to leave a like because I am actively searching for a venomous snake, which I think earns me a like. Thank you guys for being here. Now on to the video. Area, you get some really cool venomous snakes. It actually gets some of the prettiest cottonmouths I've ever seen. You'll just see them coiled up all along here. It'll be very difficult to spot. They can also be up in this park. Another snake we get here is the copperhead. Copperheads are fairly common species here, although I don't see too many in these bottomland areas. And technically they're supposed to be pygmy rattlesnakes, but we're not finding one of them. <laughs> Those things are rare. But, uh, it's always very difficult to spot venomous snakes because they'll just be coiled up in that ambush position. And they're all very camouflaged here. They are made not to be seen. Copperheads are pretty easy to find in most cases, but actively hiking for them in lowland areas like this is probably the hardest way to see them, simply because of how many places there are to hide and how camouflaged these snakes are. Most of the time I find these snakes circumstantially, which is pretty much what happened here. Copperhead. Interesting. I've never actually seen one here before. Like that. Little medium sized copperhead. Have a look at that little viper. This is a very, very abnormal habitat to actually see one of these snakes in. But uh, they do occasionally live in these little bottoms. I see them on the road next to bottoms all the time, but never actually walked one in one. You can see he's got a very dark coloration for a copperhead. That's actually not the norm here in Louisiana. Normally they're going to be a much brighter coloration than this. Now the big talk with this snake is, are these snakes actually dangerous to people? Because a lot of people see copperheads all the time. They are a very common venomous snake. And people do get bit by this snake more than any other venomous snake species in North America because of how common and widespread they are. But there's not a lot of deaths from this snake, comparative to how many people get bit. So the question with copperheads is, are these snakes genuinely dangerous? And the answer to that would definitely be yes. If you ever get bit by one of these snakes, don't try to just play it off or sleep it off or anything like that. This is a venomous snake species and people have died from the snake. And in fact, in recent years, there have been a couple of very avoidable deaths from this snake. And the only reason that the people died was because they did not get medical treatment. Now, most people are going to have a fairly decent reaction to the venom. They're just going to swell up and it's going to hurt like heck for a long time, probably about a week or so. But uh, there are occasions where this snake can be very deadly to people. The same way that we teach certain insects are dangerous to certain people, like bees and wasps are dangerous to people that are allergic to the venom, we should teach that copperheads are a deadly snake and that they are dangerous. And in fact, this snake causes a lot of amputations. And that's the one thing you're not going to hear a lot about. A lot of people will say, oh, well, most people don't actually die from the snake. Yes, but you could lose your foot, you could lose your hand, and if you have a bad reaction, you could lose your arm or your leg, depending on where you get bit. It is a venomous snake, and it should be respected as one. It should not be treated as any other snake. It shouldn't be treated like they can be handled or picked up or messed with like any other snake. They are a venomous species. These guys are a pit viper. I'm somebody who's very used to handling these snakes. I deal with them all the time, and I'm still not going and grabbing him and putting my hands all over him. This is a snake that does need its space. And notice, he's very mild-mannered. We kind of came up to him, he was coiled up. We started messing with him. And even when I started messing with him, what is he trying to do? He's just trying to crawl away. Very, he's not reacting abruptly. And this is a very well-behaved one. You will get some that aren't super good with being handled. They'll start going nuts and taking off. But this one is very calm. Now their venom is mostly hemotoxic. It's gonna be attacking your blood cells and uh, it'll actually keep your blood from clotting in a lot of senses. And hemotoxic venom isn't typically as bad as neurotoxic. Neurotoxic can leave people paralyzed in certain parts of their bodies. There have been cases where this snake will bite someone and they'll be perfectly fine afterwards. There'll be no repercussions for years. 
and then way down the line, maybe a couple decades, that part of their body will slowly lose usage. So for instance, if you got bit on the hand and it was perfectly fine after the copperhead bite, maybe a couple of years from now you'd start feeling numb in that hand. And obviously that's not something that we want to have happening to anybody. And that's another reason to teach that this snake is dangerous. Because losing a hand, I mean, that seems like something you would consider dangerous. Which is, once again, why I use a little stick. Normally I'd have my snake hook with me for this. It's a lot easier, but today I actually don't have it with me. This is a very nice looking copperhead. Very dark colored. Definitely not what I'm used to seeing out here. And definitely not the environment that I'm used to seeing copperheads in. But uh, overall, very cool snake, a very adaptive snake, and one that definitely needs to be respected as a venomous snake. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and check out the documentary we did on cotton mouths a little while back, and we will see you guys next time. All right, see you, little snake. That's awesome.